Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. As you can see, my trusted superhero, leader of the world, protector of us all, Jacob. It's four. It's four, and he's here with us. What did we hear this morning when we woke up? We're going to be in the pool. But what did we hear this morning when we woke up? We big here. means that I you guys were right one of our chickens here. one of our chickens is a rooster and it's the red one okay so. say he did say cock -a -doo -doo. I got that from Dusty is that old yes okay from when I was so you may notice that all these little children are wearing a bathing suits who never recognizes this bathing suit and where it came from it's pretty gorgeous I always love this bathing suit this one was Gabby's long ago so the kids are going home today and our trainer is coming today to do lessons oh my, oh my god i missed it you can't believe you just jumped in i can't believe it's not very deep freaking feel my legs oh you can have the red one there's two there we can separate them so basically the grandkids said they won't go in the pool unless the bugs are gone. We have not gone to the store yet. We were gonna go this morning um, to get a skimmer, but I got this. This will work. <laughs> oh no, this will not work. <laughs> Look, you got two. Oh, I cut two. I one. I see how that a little skimmer. Can you hold my goggles? <laughs> oh, where's my pool noodle? <laughs> I'm just taking off the shirt. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sophie, take off your socks! I think a little more. Freezing. Keep in mind that this morning it was 10 degrees above zero, 10 degrees above freezing, and the girls and the kids want to swim today. And they would not take no for an answer. I'm like, fine. It is only 9.30 in the morning. Your hair body. Should I just jump in? Just jump in. Jump! Child. Don't push her. Oh, oh, who knew Gab Sophie could do more than Gabby? <laughs> That's cold. You think you'll be okay? You think it's gonna be a lot colder when you get in the pool? You need a pool noodle with you. Yeah, you need a pool noodle. <laughs> oh, yes. Get your towel. You want your towel? It's, it's not scary, it's just cold. Give me my goggles. <laughs> Ooh, goggles. Gubby only gets in when I'm preoccupied and can't watch her jump in. All right, contestant number three. Yeah, this oh, and I use my oh, yes. yes! I want to go in! You wanted to be number one in the pool. You'll get used to it. In Canada, in our family. Jump it helps. Jump it helps. It's too cold, says the girl that said, Nana, Nana, I want to swim, Nana. I can't wait to swim, Nana, please. Please, Nana, let me swim. Okay, Jacob's gonna have a turn. You gotta be brave as heck. Okay, my legs are like. I need a noodle. Okay, hold on. Your legs are this color. <laughs> <laughs> They're more purpley over there. I need a pool noodle. There is one. I need something. Pass him a blue noodle. He is red. Right. So much for not getting red hair wet. So cold. See, this is the part in life where you realize how little kids actually don't get things. Like, 
how their brains work. Like Jacob is down here freezing because he got splashed a tiny bit. Like losing his marbles, wrapped up in a towel, and he's crying because he wants Brooklyn to get in so that she can get in the pool. Like, I can't feel my Do you body. think it's gonna I happen? Feel my body. A little bit of frozen is always good. No, like. Feel this water. In our family, it's a family tradition to swim in May, even though it's too no, cold. I'm yeah. Scared. Could I bring you in? No, carry me. I am not carrying you in because Nana is smart and she knows that this is too cold for her body. Brooklyn, you should get in. Well, we love to torture our bodies. <laughs> you can't breathe when you go under. <laughs> That's the whole point. How can you guys get in? <laughs> Stop! Okay, well, you're shaking. I think you should get out. Oh, 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 I learned that. She's about to brave it, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It's about to happen. Brooklyn is about to polar plunge. Polar plunge! Sometimes. Oh, oh, I love it. Polar plunge! Sometimes you just have to jump in. I'm so proud, Brooklyn. I can't believe you're doing it. So this is cold. Cold. It's, it's, not, it's not cold for my feet, but right here it's cold. Because that your feet have gotten used to it. Mom, touching the girls. Ah! Shows the girls are braver than the boys. This what? does show. But maybe it's because you're older. Trust me, when yeah, Jacob is your age, he'll be brave as oh, heck. Oh. He will not be able to go in and he will be like, die. Boys show off in front of the girls at your age. No, I need goggles. I can't feel my arms. <laughs> Getting used We're in the world. We're in the world. Oh. Stay home. Nana's still picking out bugs with their handy dandy pool equipment. She's on the last step, ladies and gentlemen. She's got it. Oh my God. And Jacob is over there throwing a big, huge hissy fit. <laughs> and I'm water. I spit water. Gabby planned not to get her hair wet. I plan to have fun and not be cold. <laughs> I need a flow, too. It's freezing. You better get moving. Keep swimming. I'm Hold this floaty there for him, Gabby. Right here. That's my right here. I'm gonna be okay. I'm sitting. Come on, pool. Breathe. I think that you're shaking. Uh, Jacob, Jacob is vibrating, shaking so bad before he even touches the water. Oh, watch out, Gabby. He's going for it. I can barely breathe. I can barely breathe. You're Mickey. This is just total chaos. I got crazy one and crazy two. Frozen three and just bonkers four. We'll try again this afternoon when the pool gets warmer, okay? I think the, all the sleep you didn't get this weekend is catching up with you. You think so? You think you're just tired? Yeah. So our trainer called us this morning and said, hey, I know we have lessons scheduled tomorrow, but what about today? And I said, of course, our, our barn is a mess. That's okay. I don't think, oh my goodness. I don't think that she'll come in. Everybody's loving the sun. Brooklyn, you dropped your socks. What do you think of that, Brooklyn? Is it funny to see them laying down like that? We should go. They won't be fat for long. All right, let's go up. Maybe she's sleeping more because we're feeding her less. So there's nothing else to do, nothing good to stand up for. So Sam is trying to stockpile more hay. That does not look like good hay. I don't like the yellow stuff. I like, I love this stuff. Jacob's gonna go on a tractor ride with no-no, huh? You gonna go on a tractor ride? Are you happy now? Did you find your happy place? Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Do you like Nono's tractors? Yeah. Soon you'll be big enough to drive this little... Is, is, this, is, is that thing for Teddy Boot Grass? Is it for what? Teddy Boot Grass. Yes. Did Nono tell you that? 
This is for cutting little grass. Yeah, that's right. And this is Gabby's Pringles bottle where she spilled when we went camping. All right, so this is Mr. Cockadoodle Doo. Welcome to what's his name? Um, and as far as roosters go, he's not super pretty. Like, what the heck? Why are you not pretty? Maybe he'll get prettier. Brooklyn and Jacob said they hate roosters. Did you say you hated roosters? I, I like rooster now. Yeah, Nana talked them into it. Told them all the best things about rooster. Tell me one thing that's good about roosters. Except they fight. Nana. They fight and protect our little flock. Nana, they're here. Yeah, you want the bagel? Here, Nana, we'll cook it. I just got to wash my hands. What's one thing that's good about a rooster? Um, see, it, it poops out eggs. Somebody was not listening in the morning lesson, were they? Are you warm now? I'm going to go back in that pool. Oh, we are. And Sophie's got a sweatshirt on. All right, little Mr. Man. He's a rooster. Hopefully he's the only rooster. There's another one that looks a little suspicious to me. Yeah. For anyone who's interested, this is the kids' dandelion pop. Um, we're at stage, I don't even know. This is like a sealed bottle. They're going to take it home, set it in the sun, and it's going to ferment for two to three days. It does have a little bit of dandelion leaves in it because I did not have a cheesecloth, and dandelions won't hurt you, so suck it up. Anyways, after it ferments, they're going to burp the bottle, which means let out the gas out, and then put it in the fridge till it gets cold, and then they're going to drink it. And I have some for us, so we'll show you later. Lessons are about to happen. She did not cut them up like a little kid. And just like... And there's no ketchup. I didn't, you didn't ask for ketchup. You should assume. I should assume. Since we're about to start, Gabby's eating. Sophie's riding a storm after Gabby. So this is what's happening. Gabby's riding a Chino, and then while Gabby uh, cools down Chino and tacks up Finn, Sophie's gonna ride Storm, and then Sophie's gonna ride, Gabby's gonna ride Chino, Finn a little so that Fiona can check him out and make sure everything's all good and <laughs> hunky dory. Everybody's watching Gabby eat. They're all like, what is, why does she get to eat? No, I just ate. Brooklyn just ate. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to Storm that we did to our horses. And we're going to see what happens. So Gabby is going to show Storm she was smiling. her behind a blanket. If that one's big enough. He's like, mm, let's go outside. Storm, do it again. He's like, yeah, she always disappears. Okay, do it again. Come here. Okay, stand there. Stop. Look. Storm, storm, storm. Yeah, he does not care. Let's try Chino. Put it on the ground and see if I can get a picture. Degrees. That's insane. I'm sorry you had a rough day. It's gonna only increase. Chino was super powerful, super shocked. You guys should see the sweat on this boy. Here, back it up. When you started taking longs, you got tired. Yeah. So that yeah. Started taking longs. So that's his thing. When he gets tired, he tries to do the easy way out and take longs. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this boy needs a good brush down, Gabby. He is literally foaming at the butt. Look at this. I don't know if he still has it. Well, there's a little you can see, but when she was riding around with him, 
He had so much butt foam, like it was insane. We gotta get it off of him. All right, so um, do you guys remember when Finn went lame? And I said I thought it was higher up, and also it correlated with that injury on his spine, that little cut, and Sophie, Gabby said, it's not from the cut, it's from the cut. So whatever happened to him, whatever hurt him, it was from the cut. It's so, not even the cut is what I said. Oh, well, it was from whatever happened on his back. So anyway, I'm gonna call the chiropractor and see this. if we can get her out, all of that. Make sure you get all the stuff on the ground too. Chino was so thirsty and he actually acted like a butt to me. So this is what happens when you ride in the heat. And it's actually not as hot as you think because there's wind. But they definitely, holy moly. Sam got back, he took Jacob to the store. They got a- Some floaties. Some floaties. A shark floaty. There's a shark fin. Shark! A shark floaty, a pool floaty. Three pool floaties, some water guns. All right, so he bought a thermometer. Let's see it. It is 65 degrees. Okay, 65 cold. degrees, that's what they swam in today. He also got a thing for a dispenser for chlorine. All right, now that is what you call a pool. We got all the pool stuff. Jacob's having the time of his life. He's got his little water guns and... You're welcome. We got the pool just for you. But Jacob needs to get in that pool. He will. It'll be warmer next time. We're gonna put our cut the cover on tonight and fill it up so it's nice and warm tomorrow. Here gun. Gun. Here. Aww. So uh, something you guys don't know, I am about to expose Fiona's secret. A lot of you guys don't know this, but for the last five months, Fiona has had a secret. Some of you guys might remember that a long time ago when we leased horses from her, we leased Blue and Jasmine. Is that who we leased? It was in October and she went on her honeymoon. Fiona got married three years ago. And, uh, um, and now her secret, are you guys ready? I asked her if I was allowed to expose this and she said yes, so. So here it is you guys, in another four months or in October, um, there's gonna be a whole other Fiona. In October, October there's gonna be a baby in the Fiona family and then new addition to our barn family and that is super exciting. Feel free to go over to uh, Stride to Harmony um, Instagram page or her Scarlet Attraction. Uh, Instagram page and congratulate her but yeah she's having a baby and I'm excited everybody's excited we're all super excited sadly it's time to take the grandkids home it has been a fun last two days did you have fun Brooklyn yeah are you watching the horses yeah uh, your horses and also um, I'm, we're actually coming back soon right why are you to keep in the four Yeah. So that they can ride and practice on Gracie so that they can get ready for the show that is in yep, July. I'm going on the show. And also, they want to swim and Jacob wants to sleep in the trailer. So they're going to be coming back soon. I'll make sure of it. I want to show you guys though. So this is their tea that they're taking with them. Watch this. You guys see it? There's bubbles in there. It takes about two days for it to ferment. Once it ferments enough, it'll be like pop. It'll there'll be all bubbles in there. It'll be fizzy like pop. And yeah, it's a bit green, but it'll be yummy. 